Our tail of the tape brought to you by Toyo Tires all or nothing. It's Velasco with the four inch height advantage, the reach advantage as well at an inch and a half. Lauren Mueller, three years older and a little more experienced in the pro game. The referee for this one is John McCarthy. You ready? You ready? Let's get it on. Big John claps him in, and we're set to go here on our second bout of the night. Tonight's fight clock brought to you by Toyo Tires. All or nothing. Quick action here as Mueller lands a big kick up top on Velasco. Yeah, it actually landed with the knees, coming out super aggressive, but Gray answers back a little bit there. Velasco, Velasco taking the shot early. Already red under her right eye. Oh. Mueller continuing to push the pace. Yeah, she is ferocious in there in round one. Now, she took this on short notice. She's probably thinking, let me go in there and try to get this girl out of here. I don't want to see the third round. Velasco, meanwhile, was training for an Invicta fight, but got the call to have this opportunity and gladly said yes. Yeah, you can't turn down this. This is your direct streamline to trying to get a contract. You know, you're right there in front of the man himself. Now it's Mueller's back to the fence as Velasco pushes her against. Yeah, she's got to take advantage of having her tied up here and try to get a takedown because uh, Mueller is showing heat. She did a good job reversing there, gets a single leg of her own. She's got a high crowd. She can slam her there, kind of let it go. So missed opportunity there from Mueller. Oh, she's going to start working some elbows here. Doing a good job of posting off. She's looking for that elbow. She didn't really get it there, but she's showing some skill. They come back to the center of the octagon. Oh, nice right, right, right connects Velasco. from Velasco. She throws the combination and lands one. Nice slip. Both girls showing some good movement. Now Velasco kind of on her bicycle. She kind of felt that early onslaught. Trying to use that range and that reach advantage, but Mueller is good at closing that distance and coming in with bombs. Doing Mueller. a lot of feints, too, which is nice. Ooh. Big left from Velasco connects. Right on the nose, that hurt. But Mueller responds and pushes her back to the fence. Oh, man, these girls are bringing it, bro. Nice elbow there from Mueller. And these girls are, 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 are fighting. Oh, man. Mueller with the knee to the body of Velasco. She has gotten the more significant shots. As we're halfway through the first round, and she continues to fire knees on the fence. She's doing a great job of framing with her right forearm there. See, that's what's keeping uh, uh, Velasco at bay and her allowing her to land a lot of these knees because Velasco wants to try to get her hand under and maybe get a shoulder in and, and try to spin her off. She does that there. She gets a better position. Mueller's still slamming those knees to the bottom. Nice Velasco elbow. throws a right elbow and returns to the center. And both girls showing that they're good in the clinch and at distance. Velasco's got to use this range and throw that big left and right hand that she threw earlier. It snapped Mueller's head back. There we go again. Oh, she's looking for the knee. And Mueller, she's going to try to right slip and rip. Follows it up with a right to Mueller. She is on the aggressive attack finish. once again. Yeah, I think we're seeing that Mueller being the, the shorter but stronger girl here at this weight class. Um, I know she took this on short notice, fighting in a different weight class, but she is strong for this, for this division. I think she's just fine. Tried out for the Ultimate Fighter season 26, which is on the horizon, did Lauren Mueller. That did not work out, but she is inside the tough gym right now and has looked impressive through the first round of this one. Yeah, she is. She is aggressive, man. Big knees, big elbows. She's she's letting it go everywhere. Big punches. She needs to go back to some of those punches. Maybe set up a you know a couple jabs and a big overhand because she's the shorter opponent. Nice head kick attempt there by Velasco. She's got to set it up though. Velasco continues to look fresh despite taking some heavy shots. Under a minute to go, first round. Velasco's got to be careful there. She's kind of leading with her face and eats a head kick. And big punches there from Mueller. Velasco nice covering up back against the fence as Mueller goes to work once again. I think Mueller needs to separate here and start le letting some punches go because I think she's got Velasco hurt. And she closed the distance there, allowing her to recover a little bit. 
Velasco comes in. As you said, look out when she leads like that. Mueller has done strong work on the counter as she goes for it once again. Oh, and lands her right. This could look be the beginning Velasco. of 10 seconds to go in the first 10 round. 10 seconds. Velasco doing a great job. Oh, she's eating some knees to the face. She goes for a single leg here. That's desperation shot right there. There's wow. the horn as Mueller continues to hammer away at the end of the first round as they return to their corners. Let's Fine. listen in now with our corner cam brought to you by Grunt Style. This will defend. Listen, every, go ahead, Ron, I'm sorry. Every time you let her go first, she's getting the better of you. You can't let her go first. Do you understand me? You gotta get her back on her heels. Sir. Every time your power side is back, it's finding a home. So you gotta make sure you're punching with your power side. You're finding a home. Set it up with a jab if you want to, but you got more distance than her. Set it up, okay? Go you're ahead, Roll. Your lead hook is out. Landing, Kelly. Set it up. Double jab, same hand, left hook. Keep your hands up. Here, let's take a look at this. Big head kick. It was a bottom. Big, oh man, and that was on the meaty part of the shin there. Big punches here and a big head kick, body kick. And this is where Mueller was just absolutely vicious with these knees and made Velasco shoot a desperate double, uh, single leg, excuse me. Incredible, Velasco looks as fresh as she does after taking some of those shots. Oh, she's showing her toughness and she's in this fight and her corner gave her good advice. Set it up, throw that big power shot. You're longer, use your range. Speaking with Laura Sanko. You ready? Ahead of this fight, and Kelly Velasco wanting to bulk up for this fight. She knew she had the size advantage in terms of height, but she's trying to bulk up as well. The 135-pound division, she starts off the second round with a nice combination. Yeah, there's that right hand that her corner wants to see. They want her to keep that distance, though. Don't rush her too much, because Mueller being the shorter girl, she's, she's throwing the heat and using that, that knee in the clinch. Mueller she tries to get inside once again, and she does. Uh, Back uh, against the fence for Velasco once again. This girl is exciting. Holy crap. Fires a knee and yeah. continues to walk oh, down Jerry Velasco. Where's she's coming knee? up and tries for the takedown. Yeah, she is. She's got her hurt. She's got to watch the back of the head here, though. We've seen that happen before, and that can get you in trouble. She takes her back. She doesn't have any hooks in yet. She's just going to use this to soften up here. And Velasco has got to work her way out of here. And Velasco trying anything to scramble out of this position, but Mueller continues to control her on the floor. She might get this double leg. She's got it locked up. She does. Oh, she's hooking the leg. I don't know if she's got the strength. Wow, Any takedown, but Mueller quick to reverse it and return to the feet. Mueller says, get let's stand up. and trade. Get up. Man, they are. This this is a fight you could pay for for sure, man. This is exciting. These girls are throwing down. You know, we talked about earlier in the first fight how it took them a little while to let it go. These girls came out ready to go. See what Mueller has in the tank. She has spent a lot of energy with those strikes. Yeah, and she is taking two some rounds. deep breaths here in the second, and hasn't had a lot of time to prepare for this. Goes in again, and again, it's Velasco back to the fence. Big knees there. Mueller's really hurting Velasco with those knees, but she's being a little hesitant now. I think she's worried about gassing out. This is where she lands that right knee a lot. When they're in that 50-50 position, which means they both have an underhook and an overhook for those at home. Both girls showing a little fatigue, and I, I can't blame them, heavy, to be honest but with she you. She has been busy through the first round and a half of this one, and credit Velasco, she's taking her shots, and she's still standing and trading in the center of the octagon. This is Velasco's chance. This is her, her time to, to maybe take over this round. It's halfway through, and oh, but it, just as I say that, Mueller comes back with an onslaught. This girl, when she comes aggressive, she just lights up and lets it, oh, big knee again. Has made a living with those right knees to Velasco's midsection and head against the fence. But now it's Velasco pushing Mueller back. Does a smart job, ties her up here, closes that distance. She doesn't want any more of those knees. And she's the taller girl. That, this is kind of unusual that the shorter fighter here is landing the big knees to the head and the body. But she's getting, she's getting Velasco into that range to, to bend at certain angles so that she can land that. And that's a great job from Mueller and using her aggression to get her into those positions. 
Under two minutes to go, second round. Oh. And Velasco goes in and tries to clinch up Mueller. Mueller now bleeding from below her right eye. It's a small cut, I think she's okay. Nice right hand there, Velasco. She's still in this fight for sure, I mean, she has her moments, both these girls. Wow, wow. Combination right from on Velasco. That says she has been training extra hard for this one, feels she is very prepared and her cardio looks strong. Yeah, she's definitely in good shape. She's she's not breathing anywhere near as heavy as Mueller, but Mueller also being very much more aggressive and explosive with her striking. Velasco kind of sitting on the outside now, and now it's got, starting to take over and, and pick her apart with these little long shots. Close your hand when it comes out. She's got to go back to that jab. Velasco's got to use that jab and set up that, that, that right hand. See where Mueller's going to go. Kind of put it out there as a feeler, like a little bait. Bait, what is she going to do? She's going to slip it. She's going to come in and then try to tag her with that right hand. Just like that. And she fires another one, too. That's what she's got to do. She's got to use that stick. They call it stick in the box and just touch her with that jab. Not put any power on it. Just wait, see what Mueller's gonna do. And for Mueller, I'd like to see her kind of come underneath, maybe go to the body a little bit again. Mueller takes down Velasco with 10 seconds to go in the second round. That was, a, that was a much closer round, round two. I think round one, all Mueller. This one, it, it ends up with Mueller on top, so I so it definitely could go to her at this point. Velasco had her moments and has Mueller ble bleeding from below her right eye. Let's listen in to the corner of Lauren Mueller. Deep breath. Deep breath. Deep breath. Hey, you gotta go outside. Deep breath. Last round. Last round. Now listen. Every time you hit her, you hurt her. Every time you hit her, you hurt her. Look up. Look up. It's all you this round. All you. Just three punches every time she gets close. Three punches every time she gets close. Deep breath. No more defense. This is your round, Kelly. You want this, you take this round. No more defense. It's tied one to one. Do you Sir. understand? Whoever wins this round wins the fight. Sir. It's up to you. Sir. It's what you got in your heart. You show me who you are right now, Kelly. Take it to her, Kelly. You show me who you are. No offense no only, offense only, let's go. Thoughts on what we heard from the corners? Yeah, there. I was just gonna say, good advice in both corners. Both corners letting their fighter know, hey, you're not tired, get out there, go get it. This is the last round. You know, Velasco's corner telling her, no defense, all offense. It's one apiece, could be one apiece, I don't know. If I was her corner, I'd be like, look, we don't know. Don't worry about a win, go get the finish. Yep. Don't leave it hanging in the balance. And they are quick to trade once again as we're underway in round three. Yeah, they came out strong, man. Yeah, combination Mueller, from Velasco. And Mueller going with that body kick. I'd like to see that stick, that jab from Velasco. Set up your right hand. Put it out there, exactly. Just see what she's gonna do. She just misses that right hand. Good slip there from Mueller. But she needs to, to rip back off of that. If she slips that right hand like she did, she needs to be coming back with the, her left hook. Man, both girls trade again. Velasco has found a rhythm with that one-two combination in the second round and looking for that early in the third there is that right hand again she needs to follow that up with a left hook or a right kick or something maybe a leg kick start stringing her combos more than just one two again, she Mueller, a late addition took this fight just over a week's notice and you can hear these gloves smacking out there Mueller trying to get back in close and get those knees going there you go. Velasco getting herself some space. Yeah. Because Big John says, don't run too far. There's nowhere to go. Yeah, you're, you're literally in a cage. <laughs> yeah, both girls really laying it on the line here. Big right kick to the body there from Mueller. She Mueller senses that she's hurt. Where she had Velasco for a good chunk of the first two rounds. And now Velasco pressing Mueller against the fence. Yeah, she needs to, uh, she needs to recover here. She might have got hurt with one of those body shots. This is a smart move from Velasco, but she can't hang out here too long. You don't want to just hang out here. She needs to do this, recover, look for a takedown, or start landing some elbows here in the clinch. Mueller's showing some good takedown defense, just taking her time, too. I think both these girls kind of deciding to get a little bit of a breather here for a second. 
She's got her twisted up here, Velasco does. She was stepping behind the right, or the left knee, excuse me. They break the clinch. Let's see that jab coming from Velasco a little more here. She's being hesitant again. This is what her corner didn't want. They wanted her to be very aggressive here in the third round. Nice one, two. Connects. Does Velasco once again, halfway through round three. She just needs to follow that up with something else. And I know that's easier said than done, but a left hook or a right up or a kick like she just did there. But Mueller comes right back. Mueller firing the body kick there. And the question now, what does each fighter have left in the tank? Ooh, big, big right knee again for Mueller as she goes back to work. And she's got dynamite in those knees. Velasco just gets out of the way of that knee again. Two minutes to go in this fight. She's going for a guillotine. Wouldn't that be something here if she gets this guillotine in the third round? I can't tell if she's got it locked up at all on the other side there. Mueller she's fighting, fighting the hands. hands. Nice job from Mueller. Our only other female fight of the summer saw Jamie Colleen get yeah, a last third minute. round finish at the last second over Tiffany Masters. Just about 90 seconds to go in the third round of this fight at 135 pounds. I'll tell you what, these girls are wearing, oh, nice Superman punch. They're wearing these punches pretty well considering that they've been cracking each other for three rounds. No real cuts or any big uh, swelling on either one of their faces. A little bit of redness, but these girls have been landing punches. Big left hook, right hand there from Velasco. But again, she's gotta follow that up. It's that third strike I think is gonna pay dividends for her if she can let it go. Ruler's corner asking for three strikes every time. Velasco oh! came up big. Spinning back fist connects with the right hand. Oh, and now a big God. knee once again as Mueller has found some gas in the tank. Man, this girl, when she decides to go, it's 100%, 100 miles an hour. Beautiful spinning back fist. Velasco ate that, man. She stole your move, Paul. She did, and she... She ate it like a ham and cheese sandwich in there. Holy crap. 30 seconds to go in the third round of this one. I can Mueller go for a ham and cheese sandwich. <laughs> Mueller was quiet there in the second round in the early part of the third, but she has found something in the final minute. Man, I'll tell you what, dude. Velasco has got a granite chin. I mean, you don't usually see that from a lot of these female fighters. And Mueller's got power for, for this weight division. And she's, she's eating it, coming back with her own combos. These girls beyond impressed me for this fight. Each fighter spent in the bench. final seconds as this appears to be headed for a decision as wow. they are locked up to end this one. A show of respect as they make it the full 15 minutes and the crowd inside the Ultimate Fighter gym on their feet as they should be. They should be. I mean, that was a barn burner of a fight. Um, these girls should be looked at, uh, you know, by uh, Sean Shelby and Mick Maynard anyway, just winner or lose, you know. Uh, they came out, they laid it on the line. We talked about the premise of this show is trying to impress Dana White getting that contract. And I think, uh, I think we saw what it's about right there. Lauren Mueller undefeated as a professional at 3-0. She was the minus 170 favorite, and she showed why with her power. God, yeah, that, I mean, that shin just bounced off Velasco's face, and she kept coming forward. Big right hand from Velasco. She was timing that, and look, right on the chin. I mean, that's the kind of strike that knocks you out when it clips the, the point of your chin, and she ate it and then ate some knees with it and came back and finished the fight. Velasco wore those strikes well and Man. gutted it out to get to a decision, which is impressive on its own right. Her husband, Rolando Velasco, there. Just smiling like, Certainly girl, <laughs> baby, you got a chin on you. <laughs> As we await the judges' scorecards, double thumbs up from Velasco. She's happy to have made it. Lauren Mueller, more of a business-like approach as she looks to keep her zero and improve to four and zero. Oh. I mean, I, 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 I think she, yeah, I think she squeaked it by. I think she got it. Let's make it official, and for that, we send it back inside the octagon to Laura Sanko. Ladies and gentlemen, at the end of three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. The judges score this bout 30-27, 30-26, and 30-27 for your winner by unanimous decision, Lauren Mueller. <laughs> A unanimous decision victory for Lauren Mueller, who moves to four and oh. Showed power early, 
showed power late and showed why the Alliance MMA prospect may have a bright future.